what's up guys my glasses are fogging up on me here um i got a fun one <clears throat> sometimes you get people that want to have a coin made from a coin you're not too excited about or somebody asks you to put like a a seahawks logo on a coin and i'm not a seahawks fan i am however a 49ers fan and today we get to do something i'm a little excited about and that's a 49ers coin ring now i just need to double check that i'm live here because my phone acted a little weird or if anybody's in chat, let me know if we are live. I don't know if I can even look at my channel. Your channel. I am live. I got a I got an ad. It's an ad. Let me just double check that we're live here. Alright. We are live. I don't like to hear myself. So we're gonna do this awesome. It's got that NFL logo on the back. And this is a pure silver 999 one ounce coin. And this is for Ricky, my 49er brother, Ricky. So there we go. What's going on, Ray? Peter. I haven't had an omelet today. What's up, little rhubarb? There's some people showing up. So yeah, we're gonna do this. Now, I wanna make sure that we keep as much of the detail on the coin, because, you know, normally when you punch a hole in the center, you lose some stuff. We're aware that we're gonna lose a little bit on this, but um, we're gonna punch a smaller hole so that at least the SF on top is still visible most of the helmets will be visible. We're gonna lose some of the word San Francisco and possibly some of the E in 49ers, but it'll be pretty obvious what kind of ring this is when we're done. So let's first see what size hole we're gonna punch. This would be on the bigger side. And I think this would probably be the right size. Uh, we're gonna do a 7 16 punch. which should leave just about everything. It's hard to see. Leave just about everything except for the top of the E in 49ers. So that will be a good size. I'm gonna use this automatic center punch. This thing centers the coin automatically for me. So this is all that we basically took off is the word Fran and a top of a letter. Will be the inside of the ring, and this will be what we see on the outside. So it's still clearly a 49ers ring. So that'll be sweet. What's going on, Ricky? Is this yours? 
Is this yours? <laughs> I know I'm making it for a Ricky. It's three button covers that are made of 1903 Indian cent pennies. Uh, no, not if they're made into buttons. 1903 is kind of a it's kind of a pretty common year, and the pennies the pennies on their own sell for like a dollar. So, um, oh, I just got a message. He wants an NFL logo on the inside. Yeah, I, f I figured that. Because, um, yeah, it would be kind of weird to just have that NFL logo on the outside. <clears throat> this is what we're going to see on the outside. It's all this good stuff. So I got your message. We're all good. I need to clean this inside out because it's got a bit of a cut mark. So we want to clean that out. Uh, can you elaborate on your coin occupation? Basically, um, I just make art out of coins and it started with puzzles. Um, like uh, this is just a puzzle piece cut out of a coin, but um, I cut coins into puzzles. So this is an older one that I did on pure silver. And it's like a 16 piece puzzle and a half ounce. And this is one that I did on a barber half. Can't really see the lines because it's all natural patina on that one. I didn't mess with it or do any finishes on it. <clears throat> and then it just kind of got into, after that I wanted to try rings. And when I figured out how to do rings, I figured out how to do other things. And now I do just about anything that I can come up with. Anything the old mind comes up with. I'm the inventor of the coin jar, which uses three coins total. And those are fun. But really, I just, uh, I used to be in food and beverage for years. <clears throat> and actually, if you go to lukescoinart.com, www.lukescoinart.com, my history, you can read about my history. I worked for the 49ers. Um, that's in there. I was food and beverage manager for the 49ers in 2007. Also worked for the Giants there that same year, the year that Barry Bonds broke all those records and <clears throat> broke the home run record the all time. I know it's controversial because of the, the steroids, but he still did it. And it was a sold out at the packed house every single day. Pretty crazy times. But yeah, I used to be in food and beverage, didn't know I had any kind of artistic skill. I can't draw for the life of me, although I figured out how to draw puzzles and patterns. But other than that, I can't draw. I have no skills. <clears throat> but I realized that when it comes to this stuff, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very good at it. So I just stuck with it. going to use the middle part as a seal on the ring. No, I am not. There's not much really to do with this middle part. Um, normally I just throw them to the side and just melt them when there's a bunch. Um, enough to make like something out of it. Like there's very little weight to this. I think it's probably not even worth a dollar in weight. I don't have scale out here. It's in my room. <clears throat> but um, there's no no real value to that, but when you add them up and you get enough, you're able to pour some bars and stuff, which I also do. So this is a bar that I'm just messing with. And these are a couple bars that I was just messing with that I was just pouring from Scrap silver. 
And this is just kind of something for fun out of pure silver. And I'm messing with. So I'm always messing around with silver, gold, and trying to figure things out. But yeah, some people, because of my channel, um, it's, it's popularity comes from scam baiting, which is calling scammers <clears throat> and wasting their time. But this is what I do for a living. This is where I, where I prop myself in this shop. So now guys, we're good. Um, this hole is clean. That's what she said. So now we're going to heat it and we're going to start the folding process. So, again, this is what we're going to see on the outside when we're done. And this will be sweet. So, let's see if we're ready here. I got everything ready. We're going to go over here and do the stuff. Make sure there's nothing that will fall off the table when we start shaking it. Like you guys, you guys will probably fall off, but we'll try it. So, I'm going to heat the coin, and then we're just going to come right over here. What's up, Hillel? What's up, Mariana? How are you? Hope you guys are doing good. So, let's do this. I want to heat this up so it's nice and soft. Silver is a great metal. It doesn't react to heat or elements. <clears throat> other than like fingerprints and oils. So unlike a silver dollar or something like that, this shouldn't tarnish, it won't change color, we'll just get more fingerprints on it as we go. Um, but of course we'll fix that at the end. I'm going to dip it in water, cool it off so I can touch it, and I'll grab a few dyes here. I'll need this one and this one. This, 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 maybe this. Okay, so 49er logo out. I'm going to level it in this die. And this die is 17 degrees, and it's going to start coning the coin because I'm going to use a series of cones. So that's after just one press with the one cone. And I'm going to switch sides of the die here because it fits higher on the die this way, gives me more room to work, and I'll go to the next size cone, just continue until that is folded, we call this process folding, oops, looks like we skipped one, went right to this one. further with this one. Give me a little more room to work with here if I can fit this in there. Looks like I might not be able to fit it. There we go. Got a few spots that look kind of funny that we might have to hit. This looks sweet when it's done. I'll wait and show you guys. Then we'll go to this die and just finish this up. Okay. So this is what we have now. We have basically a cone shape. 
What's up, Roy? Hello, motherfuckers. What's up, lucky one? Lovely. Lovely to see you. And we're going to give this a patina when it's done. So all this detail that's in here will pop out and it'll, uh, it'll really show. But I like how that 49ers logo is uh, turning out. It looks pretty sweet. All right, so I'm going to actually kind of sand these edges because you can see on the edge, there's a couple of little spots right here that look funny. Those are what can really split and crack when we start going. So I'm going to sand this corner down. Um, and actually, I really don't want to do that because I really like the detail on the tip of that. You guys can barely see it, but on the tip of the, um, the mask, the face mask, the detail is really nice. I don't really want to sand that down. So I think we're going to risk it and not do that. But all these little tiny imperfections could split. So let's see how big we have to stretch this from here. Which luckily we don't have to stretch it too far, so we should be okay. We're going for an end size of a 9. And right now it's sitting at a 10 on the smaller side. I'm going to stretch it to about an 11. And then we'll reduce the size down. Get it that nice 9 size. So we're going to stretch it a little bit. Um, I don't think we're going to have any, any issues. So let's see what happens. What's up, Greg? How's it going? Let's put this stuff back. And let's just double check here. We'll just take it slow. We'll take it slow. We'll be safe. Silver's silver's gone through the roof this week. It's gone through like a, a, a high and a low. It had like its uh its biggest biggest raise in several years. And it also had its biggest fall in one day. So it's been interesting the last last week to watch silver. I don't know where it is today. Although I just bought, I had to buy a silver dollar for a ring that I'm making later on. And it cost me 32 freaking dollars. So, I know they put a premium on those. And I know when silver's doing what it's doing, it goes up. But this bad boy cost me 32 dollars today. It's kind of a lot. Alright, so we just heated this up. Now I'm going to focus on making sure the detail of this bad boy is sweet so I'm going to protect the detail of the inside so that there will be some good inside detail and this is where you guys might shake a little bit and I apologize for that but it is what it is you know you know what I mean Which is fine. It's always good to overstretch. So now it's like a 13 and a half or something. So that's perfect. We had no issues. You can see where issues would have occurred. Um, and it's where the high detail of the coin is, which is the wording and all that kind of stuff. It just uh, it allows for fractures to happen. But with pure silver, we're pretty safe. We're pretty good. So we got no issues there. So now we're going to reduce it. What's going on, Greg? Uh, Branson. KC fan. Well, you're going to have a good year. You're going to have a nice, fun year this year. So let's go ahead and I think we'll heat it first. Heat it up. Reduce it. Shape it. Size it. Tone it, and we'll be done with it. 
Looks like that, guys. This thing's gonna gonna get some photos taken of it too. It'll hit the ground because you know I, this is my first 49ers ring, I think. It's tough to find a, a good a good specific ring when people want something specific. A lot of times there's a uh, Most of the details in the center of the ring, and that's the part that gets punched out. So it's hard to find specifics sometimes. And I'm gonna take this on my leg and just wrap it in some Teflon tape. And this will protect the outside detail of the coin. Kinda of adds a uh, protective layer between the metal, because it's gonna be a lot of metal on metal contact. And with the high detail of this coin, I wanna keep as much of that detail intact. So I'm gonna wrap this a little more than I normally would because pure silver is really soft. So you don't wanna smash it down too much. All right, so now we're gonna use an 11 degree die. This is a little, little less of a slope to it. Make an NMLB coin. It really depends on the, um, oh, that's Richie the Wolf. Um, it really depends on uh, the cost of the coin. Um, this one I'm doing, I uh, misquoted the price. So it's a, you're getting a steal on it. Um, but normally it's 85 plus the uh, coin cost. And that includes shipping. So 85 bucks for the labor and shipping, and then whatever the coin costs. So if the coin's 50 bucks, add 50 to that. Um, so yeah. You had to pay 125 for a KC coin. Yeah, the coin, it just really depends on the coin. Every coin has a different mintage to them. Um, they vary in cost. So it kind of comes down to what that coin costs at the time. Generic rounds are pretty much the silver price, which is like $26, $27. I'm sure this, this coin we're using now cost a pretty premium, probably 35 to 45 bucks, just because it is a specific coin where the buyer would want specific Specifically, a San Francisco 49ers ring, a coin. So, they'll pay the extra money. So, what this is doing is it's reducing the bigger part to where it's going to match up more with the smaller part because it was too fat before. We're basically just shrinking the whole thing down. And I am just inspecting it to make sure we have no silver coming off. I'm going to rewrap this. I'm going to take it out because whenever I do a new coin, sometimes the rim will uh, fold over weird or sometimes it will sliver off. And if that sliver gets pressed into the reed, it won't look good because you want your reed to look like a reed. If you have a piece of metal that gets pressed into it, it'll really look funky. So it looks good. But you see how it's like a weird shape? We want to basically have it be a little tilt, flat. Right now it's um, just not right. So we'll make it right. But I want to protect the detail of this because it's really high relief meaning the the wording and all that good stuff is raised up high and the more we protect it the less it will get smooshed because you don't want to smoosh it down you want it to look like um like a machine made your ring when you're done the only reason you should have poor detail is if you use a poor ring like i have to make this into a ring today and it's a poor detail coin. 
So the detail in it's, in it's pretty poor. The reed's pretty poor. But to get a nice coin from one of those, you're looking at $100, $200 for a nice one. And then you're just going to turn it into a ring. So then it loses all its value for its, uh, for its numismatic value, which is its rarity, its appeal. Once you punch a hole into a coin, it loses its numismatic value. This will always have its silver value. So if you're ever hard up for cash and you need some quick cash, you can walk into your jeweler and get silver price for it. I'm going to wrap it a little bit more. You can see it's uh, starting to press onto the detail because the detail is coming through the tape. So I'm going to wrap that up really good. And if this was any other ring, I would just run with it, let it go, because the detail would be fine with the amount of tape I have on it. But it's a special coin. You gotta add some special character to it. Give it some special love. This pad is protecting the reed from any kind of squishings. All right, let's see how small this thing is now. It's always smarter to check it as you go. So right now it's sitting at like a size 11. So that's a good spot to stop um, with that die. Everything looks good. I'm going to wrap it again. Because <clears throat> this part's going to have a lot of metal on metal contact. It's not much growling. All right, so we're sitting at an 11, is that right? So we're going to reduce it using these again, and that's going to curve the sides into a ring the ring shape that you want. So let's see where this sits. Doesn't need that much room. So I'm going to press this side down to where the other side was. See that basically just pressed our our one side down. Now let's see how far that pressed it down. So it's sitting a little over a size eight right now, about eight and a quarter. And there's quite a bit of reed in there that we need to take off. So I'm going to continue to reduce that side, and I'm going to reduce this side to the same spot. So I'm going to go about another half a crank on the press, right about there, and then that gap is how far I want to press this other side down. And that will just basically ensure that the outside of the ring is proper shape. So we're just going to press it down. About a full press. And that will finish the, the shaping of it. And then we need to just worry about the size of it. So now both sides have been pressed down the same. So when we take this tape off, it should look like a ring. I 
does. Looks, looks like a ring. So we got a ring look. Got the look of a ring. So now, it's about a seven and a half without the reed taken off. So now we're going to take a deburring tool and take that reed off because if we don't, it's just going to be holding onto the finger by one lip and that will be very uncomfortable. It'd be like wearing a rubber band around your finger. <clears throat> so we want to make it comfortable. And this tool oops, just makes little shavings from the reed. takes it right off of there. There's quite a bit to remove, maybe more than I thought. Still quite a bit to take off. Let's just see where we're at. I'm probably going to have to press it down a little bit more because once I take that reed off, it's going to be a little bit bigger than a nine, which is no problem because it's easier to shrink a ring than it is to stretch after it's shaped. Quite a bit of reed in there. So we're almost at a nine and a half once I finish this reed. So we'll shrink it down a half size and then we will give it the finish. Give it the finishing touches. So I'm going to wrap it real quick. I'm only going to shrink this one side because it almost looks like that side needs to be shrunk just a tad bit anyways. What's up, Kenneth, the Kentucky farmer? It's going down. And there's a little bit more reed right here I want to get rid of. Here. side up and press it half a press this will be like a Super Bowl ring when you're done with it hopefully the Niners they'll be the best in the division for sure if they play this year that's the big that's the big if is if they play this year they're expected to but that doesn't mean anything. College was expected to also. Perfect. So now we're at a nine. Number nine. Let's check out the shape. Make sure the shape is good. Because now the size is good. And then I'll turn on the hot water so we can get some uh, patina on here. And then we'll give all the detail, we'll make all the detail pop out, give it a really good look. 
This is a sweet ring. Can't get this stuff off, guys. Nice fire. Every Monday I go live and I try to do a little variety, a little variety of stuff. All right, so we look really good. Let's go ahead and soften up all the spots that we were just working on. So. The spot that we deburred is basically just this lip up top on the inside. We're going to make that soft and better. Now normally I would hit the outside and kind of round it off, but because that detail is so cool on that very outside, I'm just going to hit it just enough to kind of make it look good. make spoon rings I got a spoon I got a spoon ring maker right here spoon ring Done. 
this tool right here bends things into circles. It's for making spoon rings. Depends. That's another loaded question. It kind of depends on what we use. Like if you have a, a spoon, like a silver spoon on hand that you want made, it's like, like 40 bucks. It's not much. But if I have to find a spoon, then we have to figure out which one to get. Or maybe you could find one on eBay that you like. And we could discuss it. And we could order it there. Um, it just comes down to... It's about 40 bucks to do the labor on one of those. Message from the purchaser of this I believe let me make sure that it's nothing I need to fix get into doing this oh yeah I learned on my own Nick I taught myself the coin puzzles and it's funny because if you look up people that cut coins they all use a certain kind of vice where you have to you cut like if this is a saw in the, in the, in the, if, this is, if this is the blade, they cut like this. And since I taught myself, I taught myself the wrong way on, the, on a normal vice. And so everyone makes fun of me all the time. They think I'm crazy. But I think they're crazy. So there. I think they all taught themselves wrong. Sometimes it's best to teach yourself because then you, you learn from mistakes. Sometimes you figure out easier ways to do things. But everything that I have done was through mistakes. And then I'd be like, oh, you know what would be cool with that? Like my coin jars. I was trying to do something completely different and it ended up being pretty amazing so I've ran with those and those are a lot of fun I'm just wiping off basically all my fingerprints and sanding down the spots that we just sanded making everything super smooth see how that inside cut edge that we've been sanding and messing with is now super smooth um, looks like it's been polished to a fine silver we'll hit the outside and then we're gonna give this thing its patina and then we're done this thing's going in the mailbox looks like it's going to Cali Cali All right, so now we're going to make this thing look freaking awesome. It looks awesome already, but right now it's just got a just a rough silver look. So let's give it the patina. patina. Liver of sulfur. Gel. So it's liquidy like chocolate syrup hot water will activate it so I have the old Keurig coffee maker that dispenses hot water for me right over here working for us stir it up silver so the stuff works really fast like basically just one little dip in there and you can see the difference from one side to the other side and that's in between 
So drop the whole thing in there. Just takes a second. Turn the whole thing dark. I'm gonna go rinse this off in the bathroom sink and I'll be right back. today buddy I gotta make two more rings after this so now we have a dark coin and this is where we make it pretty Yeah, it is nice to use uh, inherited stuff, especially coins for coin rings. Like a lot of people don't think of that. My, my coin rings are made from some coins that my grandma gave me when she passed. So it means more to me to like wear a ring on my finger than it does to have it in a safe. basically hitting the higher detail which will make everything pop and stand out make so you can tell what everything says this is a nice ring I'm very glad that I got to make this one for you this thing is sweet so just a forewarning the camera I'm using is not my normal camera, so focusing really sucks. But if you follow me on Instagram at Luke's Coin Art, one word, Luke's Coin Art, I'll be posting pictures of this that'll be much better. So let's see what we can see what we can see. Okay. Let's go maybe over here. So this is so we got we got the forty nine ers and again this looks much better in person. This focus sucks. We got one of the San Francisco helmets. We got the San Francisco logo. We got the other helmet on the other side. It is fire. And the, the high detail is really sweet. And the inside detail is all there uh, for the most part. You know, you got the NFL logo, the badge. Not much really to look at on the inside. There's our cut side. And I'm, I, I apologize for the focus, guys. The focus really sucks. But maybe if I set this up here. Hey. And then we try to do it like so. Let's turn it around there. 49. Wow, things sweet. Trust me, I'll get some good pictures of this and send them to 
the buyer and post them on my Facebook and Instagram because this is a sweet ring. The focus does no good. It looks like crap on camera, but it'll look really nice when I take some legit photographs with my camera. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go. This is for Ricky. Thanks for watching, you guys. And uh, be on the lookout for pics. Thanks, guys.